this man's introduction needs a whole thesis, you know, mm. because we can go on and on and on and on. He's a whole institution. He is a whole mood mm. altogether. You know, he is a parliamentarian. Mm. He is um, a side parliament. He is a politician. Mm. He is um, a philanthropist. He is a businessman, a successful mm. one at that. He loves children, and so he's got quite a number of them, you know. He loves to party. Mm. <laughs> Maybe that's what you don't know. And he can be sometimes very controversial. Now, in recent times, he's taken it upon himself to ensure that there is some discipline mm. in the society, especially where religion is concerned. <laughs> You should ask intelligent questions. Where you see so when, when, when you uh, dumb question now be sad. We call law schools and you see some question question. So she will not go by my own age. When did you want? I can eat some mammy and look at the corner of the group. No, and what in the corner? And what about the back room? Look, come on, ask intelligent questions and let's go. You are no different from the boy from BBC. I want an interview here, then I want to go find it. Again, I am a real whore. Ah, I can't go to school, I'm a bum pal. What be some first question? Who said repeating? Ladies and gentlemen, can we have some drum roll? Our guest today is the Honorable Member of Parliament for Asin Central, the Honorable Kennedy Akompreko in Japan. Can I have a round of applause? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I yes. Take this. <laughs> Feel free. Feel free. Right. So Welcome you know, on. you know how it is like, you know, when you have this man seated mm. is I mean you should grab a pen and paper because we're going to be giving headlines. You know what I mean? Honorable, you are welcome. This is the upside down show. Thank you very much. All right, so um Kennedy Japan, this is a household name. I don't know who is yet to hear this name, but many people probably might not know where you started from. I'm sure you've heard a lot of things about yourself. You know, people ask a whole lot of questions where he got his money from, how come he can speak his mind and nobody can stop him. I mean, people just don't understand. But I want you to take us all the way back to Asen Fusu and Asen Dompim era. <laughs> Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Mm -hmm. I was born in 1960, mm. June 16, 1960. So I'm going oh, so to your birthday is just around the corner. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to turn 60. When is your birthday? 16th. Mm -hmm. Okay, June. Okay. June. Um, I was born in a village called Asin Dumpim. Okay. In Central Region. And my constituency now is Asin Central. Mm -hmm. I think in 1968, I went to Kumasi to live with my father. Okay. I was a hardcore boy, very stubborn. So he Are you still a hardcore man? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he couldn't take it. He brought me back to the village. Then again, said, no, a man has to train his boy. So he mm. came for me again to Kumasi. There too. He thought I was too stubborn, and they brought me back to my village. Mm. In Kumasi, I attended practice school, no, Bantima Presby. From there, I went to Sojalai, that's how they call it. Mm -hmm. I think I finished form for what they called level standard seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. And went to Adisadi College. So when I got to Adisadi College, I was old. Because I have one of my daughters is around 19 that has finished university. Okay. Meanwhile, I went to a Saudi college at the age of 16. Mm. Mm. From me, one. Mm -hmm. me <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, but I went to Winnibus's form. Mm. Then from there, I went to Germany also to hustle. And I was washing plates in the restaurant. You know, <laughs> wow. I did a mm. couple of work working at a pro mat. I became a very good cook at the restaurant. Mm. Uh, my boss taught me 
Italian dishes. So okay. I can do a lot of Italian dishes. Wow. Now women have spoiled me here because <laughs> they don't want me to cook. So mm. when you say you can't cook, they don't even believe it. <laughs> but I could do uh, you know, those days. Right. From there, I money to go to America as mm. well. And, uh, mm. There too, I worked at Zaru Bakery. I can bake a lot. A man of many parts. Yeah. You know, so from bakery, my senior from Atsadi College, one day I was coming out of the elevator and I met him. Apparently he was living in my building as well. He's called Baba Moro. Okay. So talking to him, I didn't have my green card, you know, so he also connected me to a gas station, a gas interior. And later on we ended up at the Sitco gas station. That was on Webster Avenue and Cross Bronx in the Bronx. How old were you around that time? Um, I went to Germany at the age of 23. Okay. Then America at the age of 25. Okay. And wh how long did you stay there? I stay in Germany, I stayed there for 18 months. Okay. Then I moved to America. America, okay. I would say I still live there. In 1999, mm -hmm. Reagan had introduced amnesty program. So I was fortunate to work with a lawyer. He's called Kojoa from Mesiedu. He lives at Redco. He recruited me and I started working with him. That is the cocaine money. Oh. That is where I made the money. Regan's amnesty time, I made a lot of money. We did about 2,500 applications. Mm. And everybody paid 2,500. Wow. I was doing all the documentation and my boss, because he's the lawyer, he will go and present the thing in court mm. uh, at the immigration. Yeah. So out of the 25, my boss will get 700, and I will get the rest and uh, use some for documentation. Mm. So when we finished, I had made a lot of money. So in politics, it mm. was my boss who introduced me to politics. Till date, none of my relatives is a politician. I think I stand alone. And, uh, <laughs> I got involved, and here we are today. You know. Right. So, so, so the credit goes to my boss, lawyer Kojua from Mercedes. Interesting. Yeah. Right. So coming back to do politics and all, how was it like 1992 and then to 96? Let me coming? tell you. I prefer to be a businessman more than a <laughs> politician because as a businessman, you get more respect than a politician. Go politician, anybody can attack you and you know yeah. those things. What happened was that. The Reagan's amnesty, yeah. when Clinton also came, mm -hmm. he introduced U.S. lottery. Yeah. But my office is not too far from here, Zaglo House. Okay. That was my Oh, office. just uh, by the yeah. bridge. Yeah, Zaglo House. When I was coming, I just said, oh, that's the <laughs> old place. Zaglo House. So I introduced U.S. lottery. Okay. Mm, into this country. The first Ghanaian. Yes. Which year was this? I think that was 1993, 1994. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, wow. the first one was 95. Mm. 95. The first U.S. lottery was 95. I did it for my cousins. I just did it and they won. Wow. So I had to. And because we have done the amnesty program, mm. I knew a lot, a lot about yeah. immigration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I came down to fill the forms for them, my cousin and my brother. Mm. They won. I processed it for them. So through that, and, and look, let me tell you, when people don't know your background yeah. and they think they are a drug dealer, it's so painful. Mm. The second chance of my money, I'll tell you, when I came to Ghana and got my cousin and my brother's documents processed, then I got to know a lady over there. If I have three kids were there, you know, that lady, I asked her, if I bring more of this, can you process it for me? Because she could not do anything except to approve you for interview. Mm. There's no kululu. He can't, she can't do it. Because Americans, they are very careful. Yeah. They, yeah. But to get the approval, even to be interviewed, was a problem. That's where they, she would deny you outright. Mm. The comment she makes. It makes it easier for the counselor or whoever interviewing you to say yes or no. That was her job. Mm. So I asked her a question. When I started chasing her, 
ask a question. So next time, if I bring more of this, can you process it? They say, yes, I can help you. So I went to America. That time, this my boss was here. I was working with another boss, lawyer Fufi. I went there and told him, lawyer, I have, I have connection in Ghana. So let's buy this thing. When I went back after processing my relatives' mm. yeah, documents, I went back and Ghanaians have won a lot of the U.S. lottery and they didn't know how to process it. Mm. Mm. So I told my boss, look, I have a connection, so let's do this. He was interested in the cash yeah. right there. Give me 200 and take it or 500. So he will take 500, give whoever won 200, mm. but I will buy it. So I bought 48,000. 48,000. That's about 96 applications mm -hmm. mm. and brought it to Ghana. That is another cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that time. Now he know how to make money. Yeah. That time yeah. I was charging $5,000 each. 95 wow. yes Wait, is that is that how come you made the your first one million dollars yes i'm coming to that yes mm. sometimes in life you have to take risk yeah i took the risk and in 1996 september 30th that was the last day of the u.s lottery mm. they process it then they'll go home mm. come back say from february march to start until september so after that program, I checked my account, what I've saved, I had $1,145,000 in my account. How did Next. you feel? Wow. How did you feel? You know? I feel so good. <laughs> I called my friends that helped me and I, pop, I was staying at Redco, okay. the Bangalore number A5. And I had always said to myself that I'm going to be a millionaire at the age of 40. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how I was going to make it, yeah. but I was working. And at age 36, September 30th, 1996, my account at a Greg Bank CD house was $1,145,000. Wow. Even today, it's still very good money. Mm -hmm. well, of mm -hmm. course. Even today, it's very good money. Right. So, so in the course of business, have you made some decisions that cost you? Yes, a lot. A lot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not been easy. Another risk I can tell you. When I see people setting up TV stations, well, maybe mine has not worked. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I think Net Two has not helped me. It's just a flash. Why? <laughs> the kind of monies I talk, it's not what they are doing. Mm. Anytime well, I get maybe there, you are used to big monies. Uh, anytime I get there, I get so furious. A man FM. When I get, I get so furious, but now I'm trying to put it behind me because I'm doing other things to complement it. Mm. So I've invested in business that I chef him. Last month they couldn't pay themselves, and I said I'm not going to pay you. I've asked you to work and pay yourself, and if you can't pay yourself, you expect me to bring my money from my crowd to pay you? Hell no! I'm going to do that. Mm. Mm. So it has not been smooth as people think. Mm. There are challenges, yeah. but you have to come on, put up a brave face and take bold decisions so that you can come out of the valley and mm. be on the hilltop. Mm. Right. We, we are going to be talking <laughs> about your life as a politician properly yeah. and then you as a disciplinarian. I mean, that's a whole and new chapter. Well. Yeah. But I, I, I've listened to you very often mm. and you always mention your wife. And most of the time, you say that my wife said I shouldn't do this, so I will not. My wife said I shouldn't do that. We are the master. Thank you very much. I was going to, I was going to ask you about that. We that are you the know, um, Yapuno song that Kennedy Japan poor on the master. Yeah. Who is your master? Why well, you've answered that? Your madam is your yes. Right. Yes. So, if you don't respect women, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes I hear, oh, he doesn't respect women. It is not true. I respect women but I reciprocate action. Mm. If a woman wants to take advantage because of her sex, that she's a female and therefore can insult, I'm sorry, I'll take you on. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. I'll take you on. Right. But so, my yeah. home, if not, if you don't respect women, how would you have 22 kids? Okay, yeah. we'll come okay. to that. So you have one wife? I have wife. 22 kids. So you have, have twenty two kids. Okay. So but no, you're married to I don't one have woman. One wife. How can one wife make No, no, so so <laughs> I want I want to break it down yeah, and yeah. understand properly. Right. So you have Madame who is yeah. your master. Yeah. And the other women have, are they wives or no, are they no, baby I have, moms? I have two. Or wives. two wives. Okay. Uh, there's I had babies with her and I my policy is that mm. I'm against abortion. Mm. Okay. And I have said to myself, which will not happen because I don't drink that much. Even if I get drunk mm. and have sex with a prostitute, and the prostitute comes back to tell me she's pregnant, I will accept it. Wow, wow. that's well, noble. Well, well, because well. you never know yeah. who will help you one day. I have this philosophy because mm. my father was a bad boy, a very good footballer. Okay. He, he plays soccer. All my brothers are good except me. Me, I'm not. Mm. They can play soccer very well. Very handsome man. He can do man. other things. Very handsome man. And he got three friends pregnant. Three wow. friends pregnant. That's so no cool. In, in the village. So my grandfather, who was the chief, mm. was against my father. So when I was born, and because he's the chief, what he says is final. He called my uncles and told them that they should try and take me out of my mother and put me in the latrine, meaning kill me. But the Bible says the stone that was rejected mm. so be the became the cornerstone of the house yeah. or the building. Yeah. All those who were in the meeting, I took their children to America. Wow. And they have never been me. So if they had thrown me into the latrine, would I be there to help? Mm. That is why I am against abortion. Okay. Because you never know. Mm. And most cases, anybody who has two wives, mm. it's most cases, the madam's children are foolish. Yeah. Oh, wow. Why do you children, Yeah, madam's children, most of them, they are foolish. Because they stay with the father and mother, and they think the whole world is theirs. Mm. Mm. Okay, they become solely headed. Kids that do not get the opportunity to stay with me yeah. because they are with their mother and I support. Mm. They don't get that personal interaction mm. every day mm. with me. Mm. And it toughens them. Yeah. Okay, so I, I want to just do a follow-up a follow uh, question. So do you have this number of children and this number of wives because you can afford it? Uh, you know, let me tell you, my mother looked at me and said, Ish, you, you, you are something else. Mm. Because I used to play and said, me, I'm going to have a lot of children. I'll get women from Northern region, Ashanti <laughs> region, Central region, Volta region. And I was just saying it. Mm. And I said, when I die, these kids with their parents will come some will play a bajan, this will do this. <laughs> and, and my mother looked at me and said, Oh, yeah, gee, crazy. whatever you said is coming through. Yeah. You know, but I love kids. Mm. So you so, know all your children? I, why not? I love kids. And I cannot sit here and tell you I love A than B. No. Mm. Because I don't have confidence in anybody. Mm. You, can, you can make a mistake by trusting one child that she or he is going to be this he will be the one or she'll be the one to disappoint you mm. in life and the one that you think is stubborn and will not be what will be the one to save you we have uh, about 40 seconds and to wrap up just uh, this and we'll go for a commercial break so but can you name all your 22 kids i can what no. okay, so, okay so let's, let's do that and then we can go so and then we can I, go I okay. yes and we can <laughs> go but i can thank you very much okay I'm so in order a, of in order of a Beth. shannon <laughs> okay so one the first shannon. one kenneth and the two guy okay kenneth. gifty gifty then you come to anel okay anel. you come to antoinette that's five antoinette. then you come to amanda amanda Six. You come to Girardin. Yeah. Girardin. You come to Christabel. Christabel. 
You come to Tracy. Tracy. You come to Yvonne. Okay, that's ten. You have ten. Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let me come to the small ones too. You come to Kevin. I do have Safo's children. Okay. You have, to, you have Kevin. Kevin. Mm -hmm. You have Daniela. Daniela. Then you come to Lexi. Mm. Lexi. You have Kendrick. Mm. Kendrick. You have Kendra. Mm -hmm. Kendra. You have another Kendra. Mm -hmm. You have Akwesi and uh, what? Uh, Kwame. How many do you have? So, so we have four more. We, we have four, four okay, left. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, have, seven, uh, eight. Akuya. So we have 18. Akuya. Akuya. I give so you what? 19. Yeah. Um, three. No, you can't <laughs> forget. You sure? Yeah. So we have Shannon, I have to go Kenneth, in the Gifty. Because if I don't mention your name, I'm in <laughs> trouble. <laughs> So we have three more to go. Maybe I should have gone to the <laughs> mothers. Then, then you will know which one yeah. is this. So and I'm then. sure they'll be waiting three yeah. more. Yeah. Tracy, Chris, Christabel, and Antonia, they are four. Uh -huh. Amanda, Girardin, they, they are three. Yvonne. Yvonne, they are three uh -huh. groups. Kenneth and Gifty, uh -huh. same mother. Mm -hmm. Shannon is black American. Anel uh -huh. is also Fanti. Mm. Okay. Okay, so from Anel comes those uh, three Kevin. that I mentioned. But you jump from there and okay. come to Kevin. Kevin. Okay, there's a Cassandra. I didn't know. Okay, nah. Cassandra nah. didn't come. Cassandra so two Tichua. more. So you have what? So you have 20 <laughs> I'll now. Go, go break. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to go on a quick break. And when we're back, trust me, there's more entertainment right here on your favorite show, Upside Down. <laughs> Know a real life story or want to share your story? Send us an email and come on the Upside Down Show. Send us an email to cityupsidedown at gmail.com. Share your story with the world only on the Upside Down Show. City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363 on Go TV. Access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. Know a real life story or want to share your story? Send us an email and come on the Upside Down Show. Send us an email to cityupsidedown at gmail.com. Share your story with the world only on the Upside Down Show. Wow, I mean, just before the break, we were talking with the Honorable himself, Kennedy A. Japon. He was running us through his life. And then um, he, before we went on the break, he spoke about his kids in numbered all um, 20. Uh, we have two more to go. And then right now he's ready to give us the last two. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The last two. That's Madame's own daughter. Hey, Can't forget have, this. Yeah, Abigail. 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 Japan and Nanekuya in Japan. Yeah, that's right, that's so right. we have all 22. I yeah, think yeah. there's a round of applause. Of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Abigail and so we have all 22. Wow. So this 22 share among how many women? Well, I can check. Why do you want to know about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm interested. Yeah, yeah. So we know that Madame and Assistant Madame are there. That's true. And the rest. And so because we know your number. The you know. <laughs> well, uh, Shannon, Mother, one, the American, Kenneth and Gifty, one, that's two. The three, Ewes, the Yvonne, Abigail, and the, that's Eugenia. Three. And the four, Christabel, Tracy, Antoinette, and Lexi, also from the same mother. Four. Then you have... Uh, Kevin and Daniela from the same mother, mm -hmm. Adrasa. Five. Then you have. Um, you need a okay, list. Abigail, uh -huh. that's Madame say six. Six. And which one do you have again? 
So we have Geraldine. No, they are the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Geraldine. So Kendrick, Kendra. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you put me on the spot you want to do. One. So as, as Ken is going through uh, the list um, viewers at home, you guys can send us your messages via the WhatsApp number 0550 And if you're on Twitter or Facebook, wherever you are, just hashtag upside down. And then let's hear your thoughts about Kennedy. Hmm. Mathematics is being done. Yeah. A few moments later. Much later. Much, much later. Yeah, you know, don't don't worry. It feels like we are we are in an examination room. Yeah, you know? and you guys Twelve. are the average later. Oh, what? Twelve women. Twelve. Wow. So the Twelve. twenty-two, you I'm know, not married to twelve women. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's get it understanding properly. So the children are twenty-two. Yeah. The madams are two, and yeah. the rest ten. Hmm. So that is twelve. Honorable. I mean, you have a whole community to yeah. yourself. So you know, I can form a team. A Jafo Chrome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so, what do you think about polygamy? You see, you use the word polygamy. It is not in our language. In mm. Bible, even in the Bible, mm. men who married more than one yeah. went to heaven. Mm -hmm. And those who married even one did not go to heaven. But go. David had how many wives? Let, let's quote. <laughs> First Kings chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. First Kings chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Okay. I say when King David was old and stricken in years and cannot get heat, mm -hmm. his servant suggested to him, mm -hmm. My Lord, let us sort for a virgin for mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. They combed the whole of Israel and saw Abishak the Shunammite mm -hmm. and brought her to the king, attended to him, and he was healed, but he knew her not. Mm -hmm. Now, I did theology in the university. Oh, really? I ask you a question. Why is it that David at that time, mm. when he was sick, had four wives? But they asked for a virgin to give him heat. Why didn't the old women wives. give him heat? Mm. So what's your definition of polygamy here? Mm. If you can't afford, you can't afford. Case closed. That's it. But I can tell you that you don't need to marry two because mm. the problems it's not easy <laughs> but you can handle it no sometimes you can't <laughs> oh you can't it's tough very what very what, tough what are, what are some what, what of the, the you go to this house mm, they front your face you go here mm, they front your face but, uh, look it's not a pleasant thing do you have regrets oh yes oh yes really yeah i'll tell my son if you want to have kids more kids probably you have to divorce and marry another one mm. but you have two at the same time in the balls baby <laughs> <laughs> well I, you got it you yeah, got I, I, it I, I, it's I like not it. easy so the bottom yeah. line is if you can't afford it don't do it no and you must even be honest if you with... can afford it and you can avoid it please do, do. yes and you have to it's be transparent not easy. As well. it's not mm. easy mm. i'll tell you it's yes. not easy all right, all right. Wow. I think we so, can, yeah, we can move to the other part yeah, of Kennedy side. Japan. Yes, the politician. Mm. You give your own party trouble sometimes. Why? What's your definition of trouble? <laughs> because we, we, know. We, we know how politics is in this country. You know, yeah. I have had interviews with politicians who come on TV, even when they do not agree with their party stance. Once they are on TV, they have to toe the line of, of their party. Yeah. And behind the scenes, they don't go by that. But you are different. They just don't have balls. Mm. You know what? To speak your mind, mm. you should work hard and have deep pocket. Mm. Mm -hmm. If not, if you are not solid financially, and you continue on to criticize, they will sabotage you everywhere. Politics like, is like that. Mm. So for you to speak the truth, 
even against your own party. Mm -hmm. You should be financially sound. Yeah. Read my lips. Mm. Mm. And again, you should not worship your money or your wealth. Okay. Mm. If you have money and you worship your wealth, what comes to mind is that, A, if I criticize and they come after me, what will happen to my wealth? Yeah. So I'm not going to say anything. Mm. I personally don't care about money. Mm. I don't value it. Mm. I work hard for it. It's good to have it, but I don't let it get into my head. Mm. So anything that is against Ghanaian, mm. I'll put money aside and criticize. Mm. Mm. Ghana first. Yeah. That's my principle. Wow. But before you can have that principle, Ghana first, you should go deep pocket, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If not, mm -hmm. I'm afraid when you are talking, you look back. <laughs> By the time you get there, there's a letter. Wait, you are going you home. I'm sure you've heard several times that you're a very controversial man. I am. Uh, well, I don't know about that. But <laughs> well, so I'm informing you that this is the word out there that Kenny Japan is controversial. Yeah. Well, except the see don't get here who tells me control. <laughs> he calls me control. Then I call. Oh, so somebody actually uh, calls you I can't that. Say control. So, so. But let me clarify that. Mm. For Good. My baby. You know what? Ghana. Mm -hmm. What I've realized is that people misconstrue confidence to be arrogant. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is why they think. I'm controversial. Mm. I will not let you move. That mentality of Africans that ignore him, ignore him. You continue to make them fools to insult people and go without response. Mm -hmm. So my attitude is that I will not insult you first. You mm. try, first blow, I give you three or four so that mm. you don't come back again. Why I won election in 2000 because i took thousand people from Asin alone to america thousand the US yes wow yes do you have a personal problem with obinim or buffo the duke i don't, B, all I don't these people? have i don't have personal obinim now yes but the rest i don't have any personal problems with them mm. but obinim yes i right. will deal with them well well haven't you done enough no no no, no. ah there, he, he had his own girls saying that, oh, Kenny Japan, you are following him. He has not even finished one case in his life. He will bring it and just stop. But it looks as if they don't have facts. I started first from here, City mm. Ephraim. Mm. Uh, Where is down for? Yeah. Started from City Ephraim. Mm -hmm. mm. When I was arguing with Kweku and Yido, then. When I dropped the line, I was listening. Then Woyomi came in, oh, this MP, he can't even speak English. He doesn't even talk in parliament. Started talking trash. Hmm. Then I picked him on. Yeah. You see, then we hear. The guy says, I don't finish. Who is announced today? Announced that this ugly guy, he covers his face, his face, and everybody is running when you hear his name. The fear is no more there. Because now people know who is it. He, because he blackmails people, he extorts money from people, he kills people. Mm. What else do you want me to do? So the guy came out, the lady said, Oh, Canada, Japan, also the same crowd with me. So I'm going to finish with them. From here, after the police, Yoko will come after him too, because I've sent the people there with evidence, all the transfers, illegal transfers that he has made. I'm mm. not joking. We have to bring sanity to religion mm. in this country because they are impeding progress. The way I was shame before I got out, I will strip you naked because we are very evil boy, very evil. Why you want to say what the white green can see? A baby D, but in Yanko Pona, who you used to the D, you he will bring you down and it will come through me. Yanko Pona, the best farm so I'm a brother was a Ghana. Who bragging, who bragging such and I'm throw away and I'm throw away. Who died at 30?
Edam the Acha Macra Brut, thirty will cross him. Tete. And I was, yes, and I may say, who was catching? What green young moon? When were we? When were we? And we are in Yamayo. Do you have the energy and the time, the money for all these? Money. When you speak the truth, nothing compares to that. Mm. Money cannot be compared to the truth. You have the energy for it? I have the energy because when I dream, it's money and fight. Me, I will go to you. 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 Um, what is the approach? I mean, for those who happen to be in the crossfire whenever you are talking about these people, like the Edness, yeah, the, the, the ladies, yeah, yeah. How, how, how is it? Like, See, the, the smart ones who go behind the scenes and say, She begging for me, I don't want my name there. You know, you are a human being. Mm. You, are, you see, I mention their names only to prove a point that I'm not lying. Mm. But I don't have any personality against them. No. Mm. Especially when Floris Obinim made that video and she was being sarcastic. Those who are not deep thinkers thought she did not insult me. She said, she was so sarcastic and said that I take the cup or the hat for your wife because it was through fornication you had 19 children yeah. mm. and it was not water look at that ugly mm. and I'm getting pissed mm. that day Jesus Christ that is why I don't like politics because if I'm a businessman mm. I'm sitting in my office this ugly woman can talk trash all of me to check out, they say we bought it. Some we to check out. I have a bank in Japan. Yeah, Papa, we are not so in Japan. We are not so on the road. So, I'm calling you now. I'm calling you now. Oh, woman, woman, my name is Nomi. I'm not dead. I just need you to know who I am. No one did you know. Now, Papa, in Japan, you hear me? You hear me? So, I'm not so on the road. Now, so when you are in the country, Japan, say, 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 we are finna a man. Na ma mi da so te hon a, o ben yan sa po te hon a. Na mi a mi ye so fo ma a mi. Na mi a mi ye so fo ma a mi. E na mi kwa jeji ubi. So what can, what can they do to appease you? Nothing. The truth. We want the truth to come out. So if Obinim comes out to... Obinim says he can pay me. I want to show him cash. Good one. So is that what it's about? Oh yes. I'll prove to this guy. Cash. Cash. Oh, wow. Oh. 147 houses in Accra, Kumasi, and Tema. You have cash no. and you can't even bail yourself. Would you forgive him if he comes out? I, to... don't, I don't want to hear the word forgiveness. Mm. I will go pe, 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 with the guy. Mm. Mm. After being I... would you have made your point and then you leave these professors For alone? Ghanaians to see. Mm. I see those who have ears. Let them hear. Let them yeah. hear. I am doing my part. Mm. Mm. For the lost ones to yeah. open their eyes that what it takes to succeed in life mm. is hard work, honesty, savings, investment, and risk. Mm. It is not a soft BR. Yeah. No, I've learned I do a lot of investigations. Oh, and yeah, it tells. Yes, yes. And it tells. <laughs> it tells. We can see that. And sometimes the revelations, when it's yeah. coming, my hand will be shaking. Mm -hmm. If you are not bold, you cannot even write. Yeah, scary. Yes. Hmm. Anyway, I think right. <laughs> so don't get upset. You said you were getting pissed off. Don't yeah. get pissed cool. off. Yeah, yeah cool be cool. So, mm. so you mentioned um, when you came that uh, in the in a few days is going to be June. your birthday, and yeah. um, in true upside down style, we want to do. We want to have a party. Yes, we want to have a party right before here. 16 June. Yes. So, uh, and so we have a cake. We have a cake. That we're going to be party. Oh, Why did you do invite me on the 15th? <laughs> <laughs> No, so now on the fifty, you have your own party, and then yes. you'll be invited. Okay, so this so, is the this is your cake. cake. I think he's cool if you're saying happy birthday to you in advance. Mm. 
and then maybe if we can have music in the background so that after yeah. honorable cuts the cake he can show off a bit i know honorable <laughs> loves um <laughs> medical he loves um shatawale and stone boy stone boy and yeah. sarkodie and sarkodie you know sarkodie yeah. so, so which one should then you play andrew bacelli oh, oh cool you know, <laughs> i like the <laughs> classical too fantastic so for the cutting of the cake which one should we go for something Ghanaian. Uh, we are Ghanaians, why not oh we'll be our new master okay that would be nice <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice so <laughs> now we have we'll be our new master <laughs> So honorable, if you can do us the honor, yeah. just let's cut the cake. Oh, let me say, let me say a big thank you to you. You stole the show because uh -huh. this is the first time a TV station has done that. Ah. So thank you very much. Okay. Thank you too. So, yeah. Okay. So honorable, happy happy birthday to you in advance. It's going to be your 60th. Yeah. And so it is a big yeah. deal. So we do it here first. This is the Upside Down Show and we get the privilege to cut the 60th birthday. So this is how we launch mm. the 60th birthday. Mm. Honorable, God bless you and thank you very much for thank being you. here with us. Mm -hmm. And so we cut the cake. Okay, so we, we, we are joining you yeah. from social distance. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for joining thank us. Today has been an exciting episode of Upside Down. Catch us same time and then you know, you know how we do things are Absolutely. upside down. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So today our guest has been the Honorable Kennedy Akumper Kreja. My name is Premier Dinami. And my name is Arthur Kwan. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you.